All right, so I'm pretty excited about this uh, tool haul. Now I've been in the market to uh, upgrade my home tools uh, as well as add stuff to uh, my home toolbox, mainly due to not wanting to constantly move stuff back and forth between work and home. And uh, normally I, I utilize uh, eBay and uh, offer up a lot for secondhand tools, but one avenue I really haven't uh, messed with is um, uh, pawn shops. Uh, outside of uh, maybe some eBay stores that are pawn shops, I've never actually gone to a pawn shop directly. And uh, I believe I stumbled on a gold mine in this particular purchase. Uh, I don't know if they were trying to just unload it quick or uh, or what, what the case was, but I, I picked up this for a steal of a deal. Um, again, I don't know if it was the same owner that dropped everything off, um, but I picked up basically everything that they had. Um, so what I got here is the 11 piece uh, standard combination wrench set. Um, and this goes from 3 8 to 1 inch. And then the metric combination wrench set, which goes from 8 to 19. Um, and, and the part numbers for these are BLPCW711B and BLPCWM712B. Um, and the B, I believe, stands for the revision that they made when they switched to uh, Chinese manufacturers. Um, these used to be made in USA um, long before I was ever wrenching, so it's been a while. But uh, these Chinese uh, wrenches, are every bit as good in my mind as uh, a lot of the, the higher end USA stuff. Uh, I've had this set in the past and the only reason I sold them was to upgrade uh, to my snap-on set that I currently have. Um, but they feel great in your hand. Um, they have a lot of weight to them. Um, they're long pattern so you have a lot of leverage and then they have real thick beams uh, with rounded off edges that don't really cut in your hand. And uh, they're real comfortable. Um, again, I, I picked up this set along with, uh, with this right here. This is the 12 piece ratcheting combo wrenches. Um, and this is nine, uh, excuse me, eight to uh, 19 millimeter. Um, and again, I've had this set in the past and I, the only reason I sold it was to upgrade as well. Uh, but these are great wrenches. Um, I'd say the only complaint I ever really had with them was their uh, shorter design, but uh, they share the same uh, uh, mechanism as the older style uh, snap-on ratcheting wrenches, which I'll compare to in, in a moment. Um, I will say though, if you're looking for these particular wrenches new and you want to save a little money, um, Williams has the exact same set for half of what snap-on charges for the Blue Point set. Um, as far as the tray, I don't know. Uh, for all I know, it comes in a, a wrench roll but I, I'm not 100% on that, but if, you, if you're just worried about the wrenches, um, Williams does have these wrenches for right around 150 versus blue points, I believe 300. Um, but again, great wrenches. But I picked up this one as well as uh, this one. And uh, again, I, I don't know if it was the same owner, but it would be a, a strange coincidence if it wasn't. Uh, but as you can see, one of these uh, sets is in a lot better condition. Uh, and I, I, all I can do is assume that this was his spare set and this was like his main, uh, main set because this set is a lot better condition and then it's also got a little bit of surface rust on some of the the ratcheting mechanisms. Um, part number for these is uh, B-O-E-R-M-712. And then uh, lastly, I got the eight piece uh, standard ratcheting combo set. 
um, and this goes from 5 sixteenths to 3 quarter and this set looks practically brand new uh, much like the the standard set uh, the standard uh, combo wrenches um, it looks like he for the most part whoever owned these prior uh, mostly worked on metric and more than likely that's how it's going to be for me as well but for what I paid for everything here um, I just I couldn't pass it up uh, so I actually sold one of these uh, metric sets uh, and it paid for almost everything here so again just an insane deal um, I don't know why I haven't gone to pawn shop sooner but uh, just a, a great uh, addition to my home set I figured I'd, I'd compare my snap-on wrenches to this blue point as far as like the standard combo wrenches um, there's not a huge difference as far as the the length um, so if you just want high leverage wrenches um, then either one will suffice uh, but the the main difference at least with my metric set um, is the flank drive plus uh, pros and cons to these um, they do eat up fasteners and so they, they can be a hindrance in some cases um, so if it's a situation where um, you're worried about the fasteners uh, then just a smooth jaw might actually be better um, but the the main visual difference is the size of the the open end jaw um, as you can see the blue points a little thicker um, as well as the the beam um, it's a lot thicker on the, the blue point versus the snap-on but again if, if you're worried about high leverage wrenches either one will suffice uh, if you want made in USA wrenches then obviously snap-on um, but again the blue point wrenches for me personally are every bit as good a quality um, now as far as the, uh, the ratcheting design as you can see here there's a huge difference in length now uh, if uh, if you need a high leverage wrench then obviously snap on over blue point but in, in some cases uh, people prefer these shorter ratcheting wrenches me personally I prefer long uh, a long pattern wrench uh, just for leverage um, but as you can see the 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 switch is virtually identical uh, the main difference is with the box itself um, the head is a lot thinner on the snap-on so if clearance is an issue um, then uh, the snap-on would be better however uh, this is actually the older design because uh, what I've been told is they switch to uh, the current design mainly for infield uh, warranty repairs because this one is not rebuildable so they actually uh, they switched to this design uh, which actually is more comparable to the blue point because there's been situations where I just can't get this in uh, where I need it to just because of the, the length of the actual box um, yeah it is thinner than the older design but again if you don't have the space to fit this this head then the blue point actually might be better than the, the snap-on um, but again, I just wanted to kind of show a, a quick comparison between the two uh, along with uh, the initial purchase that I made. Um, but again, uh, make sure you check out your pawn shops because clearly I've been missing out. Thanks for watching. Uh, once again, I appreciate uh, you guys checking it out.